A very warm welcome to the Vion Climate Summit. I would now like to invite Vion CEO and Editor-in-Chief Mr. Sudhir Chaudhary to deliver the opening address. He is the CEO and Editor-in-Chief of Vion. Delivering the opening address is Mr. Sudhir Chaudhary. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure and honor to welcome you all at Vion's first climate summit, but not the last. And uh, today I want to start with a few questions. What is our top priority when we look at the problems that need to be solved? Like take for example, my own country, India. For decades, we have been focusing on Bijli Sadak Pani, means electricity, roads, water, food. And our entire politics has been centered on these basic issues. And even today, these issues remain the primary issues of discussion for the average citizen. They are being discussed in elections and everywhere on the streets. On the other hand, issues like climate change, issues like mental health, are discussed on very elite forums of international conferences and seminars. The common citizen and even the mainstream media is still far away from these issues. And they still think that climate change is someone else's problem and it will never touch their lives. But the fact is that climate change is already changing our lives. It's a reality. It's all around us. I will give you a most basic example about my own life. I want to share some personal experiences which are very basic in nature, but they tell the story of the impact of climate change. And I'll start from myself. I come from a middle class Indian family and uh, I bought my first air conditioner when I started working. Before that stage, I neither felt the need nor did I have the money to buy the AC. But today, life without an air conditioner, even one day without an air conditioner is unthinkable. I wonder what has changed now. Me, the city where I live, or the climate. And I guess all of these. During my childhood, we used to have water coolers in our house, not the air conditioners. And we were fine with it. One day, I asked my father, how did we survive all those years without an air conditioner? We used to spend afternoons under the shade of a tree, drink water from earthen pots, and felt the fresh, cool breeze every morning and evening that seems to have disappeared now. It's so rare now. Today, we have air purifiers in our houses, in literally every room. Recently, I bought a new car, and the salesman told me that they have added a new feature and the car now comes with an air purifier and an AQI monitor. Climate change can push us back to a situation when we'll be, we'll be deprived even of our basic needs. We are constantly innovating our products and our lifestyle to suit the changing climate but not doing enough to arrest the change. I'm no climate expert, I'm not a domain expert, and I realize this fact that people like me, I mean, I'm a journalist, I host shows every night, and I sometimes report about climate change also. But I still feel, I realize that I need to know more. My viewers, all of us, we need to know more. And the realization that we need to know more is the first basic step. So this summit is an attempt to change our approach Today, as a news channel, we want to offer this platform to the domain experts, to the policy makers, to all of you, to raise awareness and take the steps that need to be taken. Once again, I welcome you all to the Beyond Climate Summit. Thank you so much, and I hope you will enjoy the evening. Thank you.